good today. Today, we're gonna repaint, we're gonna try to paint this pattern. Uh, this was a S crank that when I first started painting, I painted him about three years ago, and I wasn't very good at crawdads, and I'm still not very good at them today, but I'm gonna give it a whirl and see if we can't make this thing look a little bit better. So anyway, let's get started. First of all, we're gonna start off with Createx Opec White for a base coat. <clears throat> I have my pressure turned down for this. I keep bumping the camera. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to turn my pressure back up.
All right. Let's heat set him. Clean out my airbrush. Then I'll put the colors back here, and that way everybody can see them. Move this helping hands out of the way. The next color. We're gonna go with the pearl lime green. Yeah, I keep um, looking for better camera angles, so if y'all, if I have the, a camera angle that y'all like, just let me know and I'll keep it at that angle. I'm not for sure if this is going to be the best angle or not, but we will find out. I'm trying to do it to where my... <clears throat> hands don't get in the way of everything and when i'm painting that it blocks y'all's view trying to make it to where everybody can see everything make it better I don't know if this will be a good angle or not. I keep hitting the camera. Open this airbrush up or close it. Oh, sorry. We'll clean out the airbrush. We'll just let that sit there and dry while we clean out the airbrush. All right. 
right, then our next color is going to be Createx Transparent Orange. I'm going to add a color to him. <clears throat> And what we're going to do, we're just going to take and add this right to the throat of him. Just right to that hook hanger. Just a little bit on the sides. I think right there. I think right there is where we want it. That looks pretty good. Give him a little more brightness up in this throat area. And this would be a good, good bait to throw in dirty to murky water. Yeah, we're going to call that good. That looks good to me. Let's get it a little more even. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. So. Clean out the airbrush. Then we'll heat set him real good. And then we'll try to put some crawdad marks on him. Okay, and then for our crawdad marks, we're gonna do Createx Opaque Black. Then I'll turn my air pressure down for this. So I want to be blowing my paint all over the place, so. We're going to turn the air pressure down to about 20 PSI. Yeah, we got him around. 20 PSI, so. Alright, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take this stencil and we're going to do kind of the cape on him we're just going to set it right right there and we're going to spray more on the stencil than we are on the bait
just like that. Then we're going to take this part of it and we're just going to finish that. Then we're going to flip it and do this other side. Well, <clears throat> need to make both sides match. Okay, now there's his cape. Just like that. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll use one of my hand cut stencils. I think I'll use this one. This one's from Insane Custom Stencils. Russ Allen. So, I think we're going to do this. Then we're just going to line it up right there. See if we can get some black to come out. We're just going to spray more on the stencil than on the bait. Just kind of like outlining it. It's a little shading. You always want a little bit of shading. It'll give it that 3D look. And just like that, there's one side. And you always have to do a little touching up. Or I do.
then we're going to do these marks across his back. Then the last one. All right. And then we're going to always wipe this stencil off real good because we don't want to smudge on this side then we're gonna set him just like just like that Then the second one. And to do this back here just a little bit, I didn't get it quite as dark as that other side. So. There now it's as dark on that other side. Yeah, pretty much lined up. Need to make that middle one just a little bit darker, also. Didn't quite get him. Just trying to make these match good as I can. There we go. Yep. That's how you do the crawl marks. Whoops. I got everything all twisted around. But anyway. And then we have a little deal right there. And we'll fix that real quick. Let me clean out my airbrush. Get this black out. Now we're going to 
fix that one little spot and I'm just going to take a little paint reducer. I don't have any Q-tips out here so we're just going to use this little rag that I used to clean out my airbrush with. We're just going to dab that little line off of there. Just like that. Then I have just a little smudge right there. We'll clean that out just a little bit. Just like that. And we'll see if we can't get that line completely gone. There we go. Just like that. There. And that's how you you can correct little mistakes right there like that and then we'll take and we'll let me see yeah there it is and we'll take and just kind of get rid of some of this extra overspray over here that we had And there that makes it look a little more a little more even we can knock off just a little bit more of that there we go that looks pretty good so and if you've taken off a little bit too much you can always just take your 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 paint in this case the pearlized pearl lime green and if I can get any come out I'll see a little bit of a white spot Make sure we're not spraying any black. But then we can take this pearl lime green. We can just fill in that little little white spot that we had. And you don't want to spray it just real heavy. So and this will just kind of clean that up a little bit. And then we'll use it over here. Kind of clean this up just a little bit. fixes it just like that so hopefully that that helped to maybe show how to fix some of the mistakes That's what he looks like so far. So we're gonna take and okay. Now we're gonna take and take some wicked pearl white, and we're gonna use this and we're gonna spray some detail spots on him just to give him a little texture. So this you won't probably won't be able to see until after he's clear coated.
you can't I can't see that at all so but anyway we're gonna go ahead and do it cuz I know after he's clear coated you'll be able to see that Man, I think we made him a little better, but I don't think I'm going to shoot any black down his back. Um, I'm going to do a little more pearl white. There. Anyway, well, well, that's what he looks like, and this may be really good in really dark, dirty water. You can see that pearl white, it kind of gave him a sheen, but anyway. Um, I think this bait would do really good in some dark, dark water. But there he is. I think we might have improved him a little bit from the first time I ever tried to do him. So. I believe he looks a lot better. Well, thank y'all for liking, or thank y'all for watching, and... If you like my content, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will put eyes on put eyes in him and clear coat him and we'll show you what he looks like when he's finished. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Well everyone, here's that crawdad clear coated and and hooks on him and I decided to go ahead and darken in his face a little bit and then I put some bars on his belly but I think he turned out better than my first one but um, the pearlized white that I sprayed for the texture and the dots really didn't show up you have to look really hard to see them but anyway Thanks for watching. If you like what I do, please hit the like button and subscribe and, and share this video. Thank y'all. Appreciate it.